I'm making a video about uh, La Leona. I think it's a pretty cool design. When I was a teenager, I uh, played guitar and I also played the lute. And I, for a while, <clears throat> when I was young, I gave up the guitar for the lute. Went lute crazy. But during that time, I kind of learned more about the techniques for, for making lutes and early instruments. Eventually, I came back to the guitar and completely abandoned the lute. What carried over was uh, an interest in early instruments and uh, kind of a look back into Torres. As a modern maker, you can't really copy original guitars uh, exactly the same. During Torres' time in the 1800s, he made guitars for gut strings. And coming from the lute, I played gut strings on the lute. And they're very different sounding than, than nylon strings. And they're very dense. They have more sustain. Silk core with solid silver uh, windings, which make for a very uh, dead bass. With Torres, is that he was trying to get as much bass out of the guitars as he could, I think, because the strings were dead. I mean, they were just dead. And uh, the treble was kind of built in because of the density of the gut. And the gut strings really gave it more sustain and, and a more, you know, uh, substantial sound. But nowadays we play with uh, nylon strings and the basses are uh, nylon with uh, copper silver plated uh, uh, windings and, and the nylon are, are not as dense as a gut. So, to, you, you know, you're going from a, a guitar where he's really trying to bring out the bass, the treble is kind of taken care of, to a modern guitar uh, with, with trebles that are not quite as substantial and basses that are very good. I think when you copy instruments or you try to, uh, going for the exact thicknesses and designs may not be the best idea. Um, I know, for instance, that, that La Leona um, has uh, uh, bracing, that fan bracing that, that runs right up, right up to the edge of the bridge in front and nothing in, in, in the back. A customer ordered a, uh, just a, a smaller maple guitar and I said, well, why don't we go with uh, La Leona shape? And he said, okay, so I made him a bird's eye maple, and I just braced it with the normal fan bracing. And, man, that, that guitar turned out really good. And he loved it. And so I, I, I thought to myself, yeah, you know, Torres never, he never repeated this fan bracing ever. It was the only guitar he did it on, and he never did it again. So as a guitar maker, you know, if I have a successful uh, bracing, I... I repeat it, you know, but if I don't, I don't do it again. If I brace the guitar some experimental way and I, it comes out not so good, I'll, I'll never do it again, you know, and Torres never did. So that kind of tells me that it wasn't really a successful guitar. Um, I hear that guitar and, and people rave about it, and I think it's good. You know, it's got great basses and it has a turn of Oz. I can't say it's like the best guitar I've ever heard, you know, but, but people hear this all La Leona and it's incredible, but it sounds like a, you know, a little weak in the treble, real strong in the bass, kind of not typical of a modern guitar. I'm, I've made two, two designs. I make the original, everything, you know, bracing everything the same as the original, and I do what I interpret as, as a modern guitar maker, what I want to hear in La Leona, I want to make it better. Uh, than, than the original, as arrogant as that sounds. But, um, you know, what can you do? You have to, you have to uh, continue to improve and, 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 you know, given the fact that Torres never repeated that, <laughs> I don't think I should repeat it either, unless somebody wants it, you know, the original. I made a number of those. And, and they, they sound good, they sound good, but the, the, the full fan bracing is what I do. I do the Torres fan bracing uh, 
just like uh, you know Torres's normal guitars, you know, in in La Leona. I don't do the original La Leona bracing. Also, the La Leona had a uh, a, a turn of Oz, which for those of you that don't know what a turn of Oz is, which I'm surprised there's quite a few. Uh, it's this uh, brass cylinder that's inserted into the sound hole. What primarily it does is it slows down the, uh, the air moving in and out of the sound hole. It's like a beer bottle. Uh, it has a deep throat on it, and it's, it's basically a Himmelholtz resonator. And, and the slower the air escapes in and out of the sound hole, the lower the air mode in the guitar. So usually these come out to around D uh, for the air mode. So very, very low and uh, kind of a warm sound and, and kind of a, a very penetrating kind of projection. They're, they're louder than what you perceive as when you're playing it, you know. <clears throat> original La Leona didn't have a bar transverse brace going across the bottom. It, it had kind of a, it was attached, the original was attached to one side here and one side here, but it never touched the top. It just kind of kept the, the, the sides from, uh, you know, uh, caving in. And the original uh, Turn of Oz floated on uh, three posts that were uh, uh, resting on the back of the guitar. And so the Turn of Oz was supporting the top instead of that transverse brace. And, um, you know, I made a number of those, but the problem <laughs> with those is that they... Uh, Changes in humidity, the back swells and shrinks, and sometimes the posts, you know, come undone. And but one really cool thing about that is that I found by by putting the posts um, in different places, supporting the turn of Oz, uh, you could really change the sound of the guitar by by doing that. And and uh, so that that was interesting, but. You know, this is basically the La Leona that I make. It's, uh, uh, this one is, I made for uh, Matt Palmer. I, I think I just kind of talked him into it, you know, because I wanted, he has all these double tops. And I, I, I said, hey, you gotta, you gotta have a regular guitar, you know? And so I couldn't think of a more regular guitar than La Leona. This is a La Leona as well. Uh, I made this for a guy in, in the Philippines, and uh, th th this one is made of uh, Indian rosewood, and um, it also has a turn of Oz, and it has a rosette kind of a Torres motif. And the guy didn't really want a uh, full-fledged La Leona, so I, I we kind of came up with this design. So this will be interesting. So it's. Uh, very beautiful. It's thin. It's about uh, 20 millimeters wide by about 190 millimeters long, and it has kind of a graceful shape. I'm not finished doing this bridge yet, but um, I really like it. You know, it's one of the really unique qualities about La Leona, and I think it, it, it contributes to the sound. And uh, so I wanted to make an, an, an original bridge. Uh, as, as best I could. Uh, the problem with that though, the original has um, uh, holes, six holes drilled in where the strings come out and you can't, uh, you can't raise and lower the action, you know. So, um, as, uh, you know, as, as a novelty, you know, that's kind of a cool thing, you know, to have the original, but uh, Without being able to raise and lower the action, uh, who's gonna want a guitar like that? You know, I made a few where you know I I, I put the bridge back and did a bone saddle like uh, a lot of people do, but you know I, I just think if you're gonna do La Leona, you know it, it had wood contact here, it, uh, it 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 was designed this way, the aesthetics are that way, and and I just wanted to do it this way. La Leona has a secret bridge from all from the owners and people who've looked at it. 
And e either it's total bullshit or it has a secret bridge. But the only thing I could see when I looked at it was that it had a tie block on the top. And it, you know, was solid wood here with six holes coming out. I don't know what's secret about that. What's so secret in there that they're not telling us about, you know? They're keeping it a secret, you know? And uh, so I decided to, you know, make my own secret bridge. And, uh, but it's not a secret because I'm showing everybody. So, uh, you know, what I did was I, I made it hollow in here and the strings are tied, are tied on the back with, with six bone, um, I don't know what you call them. I call them bone things, uh, little tie, six individual little bone tie blocks, I guess you could say. And, and the string runs up and it comes out uh, the front of the bridge uh, either with uh, six holes drilled in to, to this bone piece uh, or uh, a, a saddle if you'd like uh, where the strings come in here and it runs over the top of the bone like on a regular guitar and I'll show you what I mean uh, you can, you can see a small gap in there, and that's where the strings will come up and run over that. Um, you can also do that with a piece of wood. I've not done it with the saddle. I'm kind of, you know, but if people wanted to, you could do it with the saddle. But I'm, I'm just kind of thinking more of doing it with the wood, because that's what it, it was originally. So it just fits in like a slot in there. And then this goes on with... Uh, either uh, tape, an industrial strength quality um, uh, double-edged tape, or I will glue this on with a weak high glue solution where you could just, you know, take a razor blade and just pop it off. Pop this off and raise and lower the saddle if you need to do it. So um, that's my solution for this design. And I think it's a very good good one, simply because, it, I mean, you could take this to a, a repair person, show them this video and how this comes off, and you just make a new bone or, or saddle or whatever, uh, like you normally would on any guitar. But then you keep the aesthetics of the original design. So, uh, I love it. And uh, so that's my solution. We'll get to hear this guitar on June 20th. Matt Palmer's coming out. We're going to do a bunch of videos. And he's going to play this guitar. So, and uh, for those who don't know, uh, this has a turn of Oz in it. So, anyway. Uh, well, that's. That's it for now. I just want to make this, this video about the bridge. And uh, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, stay tuned. We'll, we'll get to hear more of this guitar. Hope it turns out good. <laughs> okay. Adios, amigos.